Now I've been up, 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 up and I've been down hey. Ain't smoke no but I'm higher than a cloud now oh. I've been lost, 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 but now I'm found oh. Yeah, I run my city where my feet be on the ground now I wow. killed the came in this game in 08, hey Too broke to catch a cab, so they say I'm too late, hey Looking kinda funny, use my skill as a gateway But that shit ain't cool, so everyone hate me Hey, you how you doing, girl? My name is Son. Pretty soon I'll be that dude you call the famous one. What is going down, y'all? Welcome back to the most underrated sneaker channel on YouTube. Your words, not mine. It is hella early, and I'm hella hungover. And I'm about an hour away from Denver in the mall where I gotta pick up my Yeezys. Dang, where are my keys at, dog? Uh, hold up. Oh, I think I went back. All right, my bad. I don't know why I choose to make things harder and try to start vlogging when I'm walking down the driveway, hungover, trying to get my stuff in the car. Probably because I'm an idiot. But anyway, man, we're in the whip. We're in route to pick up the Zebra Yeezys. It is 8.33 a.m. according to my GPS. Cherry Creek Mall is an hour away. So as long as we don't have any hiccups, we should be there around 9.33 a.m., which is within the time frame, because you have to be there between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. The guy's like, do not try to walk in at 10.01 and pick up your shoes, because it's gonna be an issue. We gave specific, strict instructions, be there between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. Well, I am up in Greeley, because I had a concert last night, and I have another concert tonight, for the Greeley Stampede. It's like this big festival. It's every year, it goes to the end of June and through 4th of July. For me, it's always like my summertime kickoff. Like I come up here every single year, stay at Vitzer and Mandy's house, and yeah, we just party. We have a really good time, we have a lot of fun. Last night, I don't even know what happened last night. having a great time and I went from just a nice good time to way too smoked and I'm paying the consequences right now but at least we're going to pick up the zebras I had already planned to be on vacation this weekend so I was gonna be up here the whole weekend but the zebras kind of threw a wrench in that but I'm definitely not complaining I would drive five hours for these shoes you know as far as today's vlog goes man I'm going to pick up those zebras and honestly I don't really know where the rest of the days gonna come I'm gonna go pick those up probably gonna stop by my house since I'm already down there shower change you know all that stuff and then we'll head back up to Greeley the Greeley Stampede's all country concerts except for like they always do like one 90s band or 80s band or something like that on one of the nights but the rest it's all country Greeley's a small like country town you know what I mean I have a ton of friends that still live there I have a ton of friends that just come back to town for the stampede or to visit family or friends just like I do tonight the concert is the bare naked ladies man who remembers the bare naked ladies from the 90s you know the bare naked ladies bro yeah it's been one week since you looked at me chickity china the Chinese chicken you have a drumstick and your brain starts ticking watch your next files with no lights on I hope the smoky man's in this one. How can I help it if I think it's funny when you're mad? Trying hard not to smile though I feel bad. Oh my, my voice is... <laughs> my voice is smoked right now. Wow, that is not good. Oh, oh I need to eat. Even though I'm couch surfing like a Joe Smoke Rap career looking like a motherfucker no-go I got tapes, I never sold them though But I swear to God I'll be that dude who say I told him so uh, Mom calling me again Sonny, when you gonna find this backup plan? Mom, bun shovel in the retail I finna get them figures that they said we'll never see well Oh my lord, your boy is struggling right now. We made it on time, well, within the time frame that we can come pick up the shoe. What is it, it's like 9.30. Escalators aren't even turned on yet, mall's not even open officially. I did cop a pair of the triple black Vapor Max on the drive down though. The homie Jalal sent me a link on finish line actually that they had stocked on there. So I did cop a size 12, true to size, triple black Vapor Max, those will be on the way. What's up, bud? You won, bro. Yeah, I know. I got so lucky. That's sick. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> <I'm sick. laughs> 
Cool, nice combo, man. Nice combo. How happy are you? Pretty happy. Really happy. I remember we came again. Are you from Colorado? Yeah. 236, 83. At least you have. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Nothing else matters. Awesome. Thank have you. A good one. All right, you as well. Take it easy, bud. Yeah. Holy smokes. Oh, congrats, man. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it, man. Damn, part of me is like still in shock that I won. And the other part of me is looking at this camera like, you look like dog shit. God, how am I looking so terrible right now? Unbelievable. That is dope though. We could just get in and get out before the mall's even open. That's so fire. As long as I don't get beat up in the parking lot, we'll be straight. The plan now is to head back to the crib. I need to get some food. I need to get some coffee. And I probably need to take a nap, to be honest. I mean, we got round two coming tonight. I should probably get some sleep. <laughs> The year's wow. 09 and I'm getting no better now Broke up with my girl but I still got no cheddar now Trying to play catch up with these dudes on my head and now Go to sleep and dream to be up instead of down Wow did a tour, but we made no money. How my look is so fresh when I be living so balmy. Got a call from New Yeti. Said I've been chosen to open up for Lil Wayne in Mississippi. Turns out they wanted two grand deposit. And shit was all a scam. Good thing I never got it. My struggle ain't nothing like theirs, boy. I come from a small town where everybody on steroids. An only famous dude from there is Daniel Powder. I had a bad day since I stepped out of the shower. I've been down where you never want to see me but all right i just woke up from a nap took a shower i'm feeling refreshed i'm about to grab my stuff drive an hour back up to Greeley because we got another concert tonight i don't know if i'm gonna rock the zebras or not i really want to but it's like a dirt arena that you're standing in i might rock the zebras i might not i don't know i haven't decided yet but i'm gonna get my bag together get on the road get up there and then we'll probably shoot a review for the zebras when i get up there and also i need to decide if i'm gonna wear them out tonight do i want to review them first so they're not all dirty when you guys look at them i don't know i got some decisions to make but i'm gonna grab my bags, grab my things, and get back on the road, and we'll decide from there. Face a butt in front neck, don't know how to act. Without no vouchers on no boosters, bringing nothing back. You should feel the impact. Shopping with blast when the sky's the limit, and them haters can't get past that. Watch me as a gas that Four got six rain. Once again, he can't change. Every time I switch lanes, it feels strange now. Making a living on my brain instead of cane now. I got the title from my mama, put the whip in my own name now. Damn, shit to change now. Running credit checks with no shame now. <laughs> it's like ginormous. <laughs> I just wanted to see how they feel a little bit. How are they feeling, bud? Pretty good. Pretty good, he said. <laughs> little bit. Huh? Little bit. I like your shoes better. You like my shoes better? The voice is still all haggard. Oh, dude, when I woke up this morning, I started to try to vlog. I was talking to the camera, and it's not like I had a frog in my throat. Uh, hey, what is going down, uh, yo? What is going down, yo? Look back to back. Were you John Lennon shades? Yeah, if you want to get Frio on them. These are more Fuego. You're going to wear the Yeezys, I think you got to wear those ones, guy. That might be too much stunting. Stunting? I got three things a lot. Oh, really? Yeah. Too tight with it? Um, They're all right, but I just know they do fit tight. Like, I could get by with it. But I think overall, like, with Boost, you don't really need an insole. Did you hear me yell at Adam? Mm -hmm. Can I get on your phone so I can check my YouTube channel and see if I have any more followers? Oh. Ooh. Because <laughs> they put up that video last night. Are you guys getting some followers? All well, the young kids will be watching your... Watching your baby times. What's the channel? It's just Adeline, Adeline and Ayla. Adeline and Ayla. Baby times with Adeline and Ayla. <laughs> <laughs> it's so crazy, dude. Well, they Find out when I was a kid. Out. You think those are more comfortable than Ultra Boost? No. It goes Ultra Boost, Yeezys, and MD. I kind of like them factory like that, but then I kind of like them. Just leave them one and one, guy. <gasps> it's too crazy. I wonder if I can put pants on. Is it cold? It is a little chill out there. Dude, these fools have some hits. Bro. I was just going for it right now. Dude, these fools have some serious hits. It's remember that? One way. It's like a dream you try to remember, but it's gone, then you try to scream, but it only comes out as you yawn, then you try to see the one beyond your front door. Pinch me. That's what that shit's called. Is that it? That is it, huh? Yeah. Oh, Frio. It's the perfect time of year. Oh. Dude, they have a bunch of hits. What about if I had a million dollars? If I had a million dollars? 
<laughs> Dude, Wait, I can't get rid. No. I can't get rid of the frog guy. If I had a million dollars, had a million dollars. If I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, buy you a house, but I would buy you a house. If I had a million dollars, furniture for your house, oh. Chesterfield or an Ottoman. <laughs> you go your way, I go mine. Goodbye, I said goodnight. Ooh, it's all been done. Ooh, it's all been done. Dude, I'm off to the show. Park tonight. <laughs> so disrespectful. Listen, you know, uh, we uh, in Boulder, we weren't allowed to. Nah, nah, nah. guys we're back home I just got home from Greeley this morning I had to come back down here and do some stuff so I wasn't able to get the review done up there it was just too busy the concerts and hanging out with friends and stuff I just didn't have a chance to do it so I wanted to knock out this review really quick that way I could get this vlog up for you and then all the stuff that goes down today Teddy's pop-up the misinformed podcast all the stuff I'm doing today that'll just be on tomorrow's vlog and that should be a pretty quick turnaround time for you guys couple things before we get into the shoe a bunch of people are hitting me up saying the multicolors have been pushed back to July 15th instead of June 28th I am seeing that on Finish Line's website under like the release date and calendar. I don't know if it's going to be the same for Adidas. I don't know if Adidas.com or the other foot sites are pushing it back or it's just Finish Line. I haven't dug deep enough in to confirm that yet. Also, I don't know if that includes the triple black as well. I don't think so. I haven't seen anything about the triple black being pushed back. I think those are still dropping on the 28th, which honestly, if you're going for both shoes, it's going to make it a lot less stressful because then you got each on different days. For people that just wanted one or the other, they're probably kind of mad because now it's going to allow more people to focus on each release. So, take it as you will. People are always hitting me up asking me about release dates and where to get these and when these are coming. Honestly, if you don't have a Twitter and you're in the sneaker game, you're already losing. You got to get Twitter. You got to get on sneaker Twitter. There's so many resources. There's so many people that have 10 million times more information than I have. I mean, I'm a busy guy between doing the vlog and all the stuff I do. I have a lot of people that kind of keep me in the know and Twitter keeps me in the know. It's not like I have any sources. I don't know anyone that's given better information than you can get on Twitter. Just get yourself set up with the Twitter, man, and follow the right accounts, follow the right people on sneaker Twitter. That is really the best way to keep connected with the most current, up-to-date, quickest information. Now, with that out of the way, Let's get into the review of these sneakers, man. You saw me pick them up yesterday morning. You saw me rock them at the concert last night. They are a little bit dirty. I did try to clean them up as much as I could for you, um, but there is still a little bit of dirt residue. They did get pretty dirty out there, but uh, that's what sneakers are for. They're made to be worn. This will be a pretty quick review, man. As you know, there's a ton of Yeezy Zebra reviews out there. There's probably another 6,348 reviews about to drop today or tomorrow because of the restock and everybody else that got pairs. So if you want a ton more detail that I'm going to get into, you can definitely find it hopefully you guys were successful in copying your pair start you off with the box label there we go as you saw this pair came from finish line if you follow the channel on the last vlog you saw we won the raffle super clutch didn't have to stress out didn't have to pay resale didn't have to worry about anything just got very very lucky very grateful that I was able to win that raffle so here we go man let's take a look at the shoe bang there they are the Yeezy 350 v2 zebra Boom. Like I said, sorry, there's still a little bit of dirt on there. 
actually doesn't look too bad. In person, it looks a little bit worse. So starting out, if you're familiar with the uh, Yeezy V2s, you know, you got this prime knit upper. It is prime knit, but it's not stretchy at all. Uh, it's just, it's not even close to an Ultra Boost or the stretchiness of an Ultra Boost. It doesn't really move. It's a definitely a thicker, uh, sewn knitting. Also, underneath the toe right here, I don't know if it's possible for me to show you uh, the inside, but there's like a little bit of a cage. Kind of like how the Uncaged Ultra Boosts have a cage on the inside, it's just like a little bit of a support. This has that underneath the toe box. I'm personally not like the biggest fan of it. I don't know why they do that. It's probably there for a reason. I just really don't know what it is, but I wish it was just your toes against the Prime Knit like it is in an Ultra Boost or uh, a PK NMD. Maybe it keeps all of this together. I'm not sure, I really don't know. But for that reason, that's why the V2s fit a little tight. These are a little bit looser than my Belugas. The Beluga being the first V2 that dropped, that one fits super tight. I would recommend a whole size up on that one. On this one, you're probably cool going a half size up. These are a 12, which is my true to size. When I put my foot in with the insole inside, the fit is definitely very snug. Not to the point where I can't wear it. I could definitely wear it around, but after a couple hours, my toes would probably be a little bit cramped or sore. So I take the insole out. I don't really feel like you need to rock an insole in these or even a lot of ultra boost i mean a lot of my ultra boost if they're a true to size and they're just too snug or whatever i just take the insole out it's not that big of a deal you don't really need an insole with boost when you're standing on boost you don't really notice that there's not an insole in the shoe which is weird before adidas came out with ultra boost or nmds or before boost in general taking the insole out of a shoe was weird if someone told me that like in a jordan or in an air max i'd be like what are you talking about it's gonna feel like crap but in an adidas shoe that has boost you take the insole out you won't even notice a difference really in comfort it's just gonna fit better for you if the shoe is already snug so the inner cage on the Yeezy V2, that's really the only thing I'm not a big fan of. Everything else, I love the V2s. I think they are the most comfortable Yeezy so far. Finishing up with the prime knit all the way around, you have that zebra uh, pattern. Almost reminds me of that old school like Shaq pattern when he was a Reebok. Moving up to the laces, they look white on camera, but they're definitely like a cream color laces. As well as this upper down here is like a cream color. And then you can see this is like a more of a white color. You can see kind of the difference in where the stripe is. This is more of a white and this is more of a cream. There's definitely just a slight difference there. With the lacing, this is how I lace my V2s, just like I do my Ultra Boost. If you see my Ultra Boost tutorial, I just pull the laces all the way up to the top, and then I just go back through the top two times, and that way I don't have to worry about tying them or anything, and then the laces aren't too bulky or hanging out there. That's the look I like to go with. Moving around the back, you got the pull tab there. Inside, Adidas Yeezy on the insole, white insole stripes white stripes on the back these are reflective and if you run your fingers across them you can definitely feel the texture of the stripes moving down to the midsole you have a nice white midsole there and then when you get to the outsole it is more of like a yellow color see how it's kind of got that yellow tint to it you got boost there boost windows same standard v2 bottom Again, sorry, mine are kind of dirty because I already wore the shoe. That is about it on these, man. There's not a ton to say that hasn't been said or that you haven't seen. Very, very hyped sneaker. I think resale right now is somewhere between 550 and 600, depending on your size. I expect that to drop maybe a little bit as people start to get their pairs this week. Just keep an eye out for that. If this is a pair you're looking to cop, I do recommend going a half size up if you want to keep the insole in. If you go true to size, you may have to take the insole out. That's what I have to do. And I think it makes for more of a comfortable fit. Super grateful to have this pair in the collection, man. I love my balloon. Belugas, I love my breads. Belugas were definitely probably my favorite until I got these. Actually, I'm not sure that these trump the belugas for me, but they're really close. I love the beluga though. Hopefully you were able to get your pair, man. If you weren't, resale isn't that bad on them. I know saying $500 isn't bad on resale seems weird, but for this pair, it really isn't bad. That's like two and a half pairs of Ultra Boost. You know what I mean? On the next couple Ultra Boosts, if you just don't cop and you save that money that you're gonna put towards Ultra Boost, you'll have a pair of these. We are almost at 7,000 subscribers, which is wild, man. The channel is growing like wildfire, so I really appreciate you guys checking for your boy, sharing my videos, commenting, man, clicking the thumbs up button. That shit goes a long, long way to growing the channel, so I really appreciate you guys for that. If you guys need anything else, hit me in the comments, hit me on Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Other than that, thanks for always supporting your boy, and I will see you fools tomorrow. Hey, my city where my feet be on the ground now I've been wow. up, 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 and I've been down hey. Ain't smoke no but I'm higher than a cloud now I've been lost, 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 but now I'm found yeah, around my city where my feet be on the ground now And wow. it go like this The shit ain't easy, baby But you gotta believe me, baby Cause what's up must come down And I think that they even work the other way around Cause the shit ain't easy, baby But you gotta believe me, baby 
Cause what's up must come down And I think that they're even worth the other way around Cause I, yeah, I do that You gotta believe that, baby 